name's Frank. I have no idea how I got here. Do you have any idea what that means for us? That the company has to pay for everything. Everything! You will get on the phone to this person right now and inform her that we are not paying a single penny. That's it. Now get out of my sight! Hello, good afternoon. Uh, it's Franco and calling from WGB Insurance again, obviously, regarding your daughter's accident. Unfortunately, I may have been just a little too optimistic about company policy. Don't tell me that you won't pay. No, no, it's just that we need a little more information, that's all. Oh, I know how that works. You need more information no, and you're not paying. No, no, everything will be fine. You promised everything And, and I promise you fine. again... You it, told me that everything's no, going to be okay, so why do you want more no, information? No, it's just some routine forms that... I'm so, oh, my m Mrs. oh, my God, what shall we do now? <laughs> Can you imagine a 16-year-old... You know, I've just I noticed that I do have another appointment coming up. Yes, an yes, I do. And, uh, yes, uh, what... Really I'm, I must go now. I'm sorry. Good evening. Good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, hon, it's me. I had a little bit of trouble at the office. I'm just setting off now. You're setting off now? Oh, Frank, we're gonna be late. I know I'm a little bit late, but I promise you we're gonna get there on time, okay? Oh, please hurry, Frank. I've been looking forward to this evening for You know weeks. what? We're gonna have a great evening. And by the way, you would not believe the amount of trouble I went through to get these tickets. Hello? What's going on? Have you got the tickets? Of course I have the tickets. Bye. Irene, honey, I'm really very sorry. This is entirely my fault. I was so looking forward to this evening. Maybe we can make the best of this situation. Get in the car, go down. Don't down. even talk to me. Have a nice dinner. Where the hell have you been? Been looking everywhere for you. I 
I beg your pardon, I don't know what you're talking about. Hello! It's me, your manager, and you've got a show to do, so you better get your ass backstage. Show? I don't listen, listen Frank. Listen to uh, you calling me Frank? How do you even know my name? I don't even remember how I know your name. Anyway, what kind of manager doesn't know his client's own name? Now, listen to me, Frank. I need to pull yourself together, stop fooling around. Frank, but... Frank you got me worried, man. You finally found him. Listen, we've got a full house out there, and you... Re... Are you okay, Frank? Is he all right? Because I really... Be fine. Keep it sober and tight, nice tight. Listen, I'll see you out there, yeah? He's gonna be great. Okay, cool. I tell you, there ain't Frank. a chance in hell that I'm getting up on that stage. Frank, listen to me. Have you taken anything? Oh, who are you? I am your manager. But I'm not a musician. I don't play an instrument. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Come with me. Okay, Frank. Frank, do you know what this is? It's a harmonica. That's right, it's a harp. It's your harp. And do you know how to get a sound out of this harp? I, I don't know. You blow into it. That's right. You blow. Now blow. But I don't know how. Blow it. <laughs> Wait, hey. Now I want you to take your harp and your hat and get out there and play a show. You know something, buddy? I've had a really, really hard day. I don't know where I am, or what you people want from me. Okay, if you'd be so kind as to give me that hat. I think I have an audience waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give a big hand for the legendary, the one and only Mr. Sodom,
Shut 